This morning in a network exclusive interview, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke with CBS News about the big challenges facing the U.S. from China, Russia and North Korea. Harris just attended a summit of Indo-Pacific nations in Indonesia and spoke with chief foreign affairs correspondent and Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan. A previous version of this clip was edited incorrectly. Here is the full exchange between Margaret and Vice President Harris relating to Republican attacks and Democratic concerns about the Biden-Harris re-election bid. So you're 58 now. If you win a second term, as you and the president are running to do, he would be 86 at the end of it. And we are seeing Republican candidates hone in on you in particular as being next up for that job. Nikki Haley says a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for President Harris. Chris Christie, I want to be clear that I pray every night for Joe Biden's good health, not only because he's our president, but because of who our vice president is. Ron DeSantis, Harris is Biden's impeachment insurance. People know if she were president, batter the doors. As bad as Biden did, it would get worse. How do you respond to all of that? We are delivering for the American people. And the reality of it is that, unfortunately, very few of those who would challenge our administration actually have a plan for America. You look at what we have accomplished, Margaret. We have created over 800,000 new manufacturing jobs in America, 13 million new jobs, unemployment at record lows. We have capped the cost of insulin for seniors at $35 a month cap the cost of prescription drugs on an annual basis at $2,000 They're talking about seniors. What you would do as president as being a risk. They're honing in on you. Why do you think that is? How do you respond to those attacks? That's not about policy. That's about you. Listen, this is not new. There's nothing new about that. I mean, listen, I am, in my career, I was a career prosecutor. Um, I was the first woman elected district attorney of, a, of San Francisco, a major city in this country, and re-elected. I was the first woman attorney general of the second largest department of justice in the United States and re-elected. I was a United States senator. I represented one in eight Americans, and I'm now vice president of the United States. They feel the need to attack because they're scared that we will win based on the merit of the work that Joe Biden and I and our administration has done. But even Democrats are worried about the president's age. The Wall Street Journal had a poll showing two-thirds of Democrats say Joe Biden is too old to run again. Are you prepared to be commander-in-chief? Yes, I am, if necessary. But Joe Biden is going to be fine. And let me tell you something. I work with Joe Biden every day. The work that, under Joe Biden's leadership, our administration has accomplished is transformative. What we have done, for years, administrations talked about what they would do in terms of infrastructure, infrastructure week, remember that? Mm -hmm. Under Joe Biden's leadership, we have transformed and are in the process of transforming America's infrastructure with an historic investment in not only roads and bridges, but high-speed internet, what we are doing around issues like lead pipes, and, and I could go on and on. What we have done in terms of 800,000 manufacturing jobs, what we have done to cap the cost of prescription medication. Many have talked about doing this. This is the work under Joe Biden's leadership that has actually been accomplished. And I think the American people, most of all, want a leader who actually gets things done. Mm -hmm. And that is what Joe Biden has accomplished.